kicks, elbows, knees. But these are only six of the eight limbs. The kick is a fundamental strike in Muay Thai. Like the jab in Western boxing, the kick is the long-range weapon of the sport. The kick's power comes from the torque generated by the rotation of the hips. It's the same principle that cracks a whip. Turning the hips just a few degrees forces the foot to travel a much greater distance and creates a lot of speed as it does. The longer the leg and quicker the rotation, the faster the kick. And unlike karate, Muay Thai fighters are also taught to strike with the hard bone of the shin. A Muay Thai kick can generate roughly the same force as a baseball bat, enough to crack a rib or a leg. That same focus and accuracy are at the core of the drill and are the same principles that underlie the most devastating strike in Muay Thai. Basically, it works like a point of a knife. All the force is magnified by being concentrated in a small, hard area. Even if the elbow doesn't deliver a knockout, it will almost always leave a nasty cut and often end a fight. With the long-range power angle kick and the fight-stopping elbow strike, we've made a good start at building our Muay Thai arsenal. But there's still a lot to learn. But the school could teach us another move to add to our arsenal. One that works seamlessly with weapons or without. The knee strike. Getting in close neutralizes the opponent's weapon advantage. Then, in the clinch, we bring the power of the knee to bear. Unlike the kick, which relies on rotation to create power, the knee gets its power from leverage, pulling our opponent down as we drive the knee up and deliver up to 2.5 tons of force, enough to lift a car. It's not the arms, but the legs that drive our fists. Like a piston, the explosive power of the legs is capable of generating hundreds of pounds of force, all to a very vulnerable area, the soft underside of the opponent's jaw. Like the Hanuman move, the flying knee relies on the explosive power of the legs. But rather than spread the power of our blow over two fists, it concentrates it into the spear point of the knee and combines it with the force of gravity. It's the equivalent of hitting our opponent in the chest with a sledgehammer. Kicks, elbows, knees, but these are only six of the eight limbs.